The regular season, meanwhile, winding down for the rail yard dogs with one more weekend series left on the docket. Roanoke already a lock for those playoffs, but they are playing for much more. Ro Roanoke currently fourth in the SPHL standings, and they control their own destiny in regards to home ice advantage. They've had big contributions throughout the year from veterans like Mac Jansen and Nick Ford. Garrett Sargis is once again a late season viable threat for the dogs. And in goal, Austin Rowe. Bush has been among the best in the league. Not a lot to change, says Coach Dan Bremner, but rather just a bit to polish up. I'm a big believer that, you know, in the last week, two weeks of the season, you're not reinventing the wheel. You're, that's not when you're, you know, you're not getting in shape at that point. You're not, uh, you know, it, it's, it's time to kind of dial in a few systems and, and make sure you're getting your touches. But these guys, they're going to have to rely on what they've been doing all year. Um, and, and then obviously the intensity increases, but uh, no, they, they're, they're dialed in right now. Uh, I think the only thing we're trying to do is over communicate because we know that when playoffs come, buildings are going to be packed, it's going to be loud, it's going to be hot. Um, that's usually the difference. Talking to a guy, telling him to take this guy, that guy, that could be the difference in a goal. Win, loss, end of the season, the season keeps going. You know, it just goes back to playing dogs hockey. Uh, we like to play a simple game, a hard game, and when we're doing that, the other stuff comes with it. So we find ourselves sticking to that stuff, and the other stuff comes easy. Jansen set to break the franchise record for most games played when the dogs take to the ice tomorrow night at the Berglund Center against Macon.